everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to be doing an art journal entry. Uh, here I'm showing you my Bible journal uh, or my journaling Bible. And I have already created um, this theme um, on Genesis 1-1 already with watercolors. And I decided that I wanted to use more supplies from my craft room that I just kind of have forgotten about it and haven't used them in a while. So I'm using my Disbound art journal that I made a while ago. And I'm showing you my Distress Spray inks that um, they feel like they're so old now, but I haven't used them. They've just kind of been there in a bucket collecting dust. So I decided, you know what, I can't really use these on my Bible. And I wanted to make another version of the entry that I had already done on Genesis. So the whole thing, um, why I started off with Genesis is because I bought a new study Bible. Um, it's a CSB version and it's specifically a study Bible. And I just decided that if I was going to dig deeper into the word um, that I wanted to know from the get go from the first book in the Bible and then go my way like in order you know from Genesis all the way down to Revelation and so I decided to uh, do this art journal uh, reflecting uh, Genesis 1 1 and so basically all you saw me doing was spray uh, different two shades of blue distress uh, sprays and two pink ones and it kind of mixed together making a purpley you know bluey um atmospherish color that you know we are used to seeing um to create the g galaxy um or atmosphere um that's basically all it did and then once i allowed the sprays to kind of dry on my uh paper here I went ahead and uh, separately on a different paper, you can use any really type of paper. I just used a brown cardstock and then had this pattern paper kind of um, cut some squares off and just kind of give some texture and just an abstract illusion of the world there. And then all I did was use my matte medium to glue those pieces down onto the circular part. So now I put that to a side to let it dry. And here I am working on my background some more. I'm using a scripted stamp. All I did is I took a scripted stamp, which is the Lord's Prayer, by the way. I got it at Hobby Lobby many moons ago. And I took it off the block just to have more control on where I want um, the lettering. And I was just testing some new technique. Um, so all I'm doing here is stamping the script in different areas not really focusing too much in the middle because the world that i created the collage world that i created is going to go in the center um, then i used some other uh stamp that um that i also have on a block and i just decided to keep that one on the block and all I am did was stamped in different areas. And right here, I'm just ink blending uh, my archival black ink in different areas. Now, if you have the Distress Oxide ink, that one's probably a lot better to blend than the archival ink. But I did not have that, so I, I did what I could with what I had. So for the list of supplies, they will be in the description down below. Um, pretty much what I'm doing here is self-explanatory. You can see it. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, comment down below and let me know what uh, you are wondering what I did in a certain part of this video. And I'll be more than happy to um, answer your question. I'm going to put some music towards the end of here and then I'll check with you back when this is finished.
I'm back and I hope you enjoyed the music to the video while watching the art process as it came along together. Um, here I'm just doing the last final touches where I added in the beginning um, because that's the way in uh, Genesis 1-1 the verse starts with in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. So in the back here um, I can either gesso whatever bled through um, or regular acrylic white paint to cover that up or just leave it on there and add a couple lines to kind of journal and reflect on what were my thoughts or revelation at the end in the back of this page and I thank you so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up it lets me know that you enjoy watching these type of videos and don't forget to comment down in the description below what song you think was playing um, during the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.